What do you feel about the cause that he was fighting for? What do I feel about the cause? It, 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 it's a, from a, from a humanitarian point of view, I agree. Mm. I agree with the cause. I think that it is important as human beings to, to challenge to challenge wrongdoing where we can. You know, we're lucky in this country that we have a voice. Mm. We are allowed to speak out. We are not oppressed to a, a certain degree. We have to, we have to stick up. We mm. have to fight for the rights of other people when we see that you know, they're, they're not being given the, the same rights and democracy that, that we have. What are your feelings about Vladimir Putin? I feel really sorry for, for Putin. I think he's delusional. I think that he has had a life unlike ours. I think that the, their, their society is very different. I don't hate him. I just feel sorry for him. It takes a lot to not hate someone who's been responsible for your boy's death. It does take a lot. But the whole reason both my sons mm. do what they do are for good reasons. And if I hated, where would that hate stop? Where would it end? How do you feel about Putin and what the Russians are doing? The, the same. Obviously, I don't agree with the invasion of Ukraine. It's a, an illegal invasion, and it could be argued that it is actively a, a genocide. Um, I've got no animosity towards Russians. Um, during my time in Ukraine, when we take prisoners, a lot of these people are just young kids that have been forced into a situation, so they haven't really got the, the choice, if that makes sense. So I hold no hatred towards Russians or, or to Russia as a, a country. Um, but yeah, obviously the, the situation just is what it is. Um, I don't know, I mean, it could be argued that this is an overspill of the, the proxy conflict in, in Syria. I mean, if we look at um, sort of the, the Russian and American proxy war that happened there, this is a, a direct overspill. So uh, what we've seen is obviously Assad's been uh, sort of propped up by, um, by the Russian regime. Mm. Um, and then we see, obviously, Russia trying to drive a wedge in uh, NATO as well. So um, if we look at Erdogan's relationship with uh, Putin, it's very obvious, and it should be obvious to everybody, that these countries like Russia, uh, Turkey, they are the enemy of all, like, democracy-loving countries and people. Mm. Um, so, uh, again, I mean, this is... We shouldn't look at these as isolated incidents. They are all completely interconnected. Um, so I think that's what people should should take on board. Will you go back to Ukraine? Uh, I don't want to say this in front of my mum, but one million percent, I'm going to go back.